Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Mitindi. I know it's been a minute. I do apologize, but I hope that today's video is going to be well worth the wait. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to style a console table, credenza, sideboard, whatever it is that you want to call it. I'm going to show you how to style it in three ways. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, then you may know that I'm a student of interior design. I'm doing online interior design courses on Skillshare. I'll actually link the website down in my description box and you can have a look and see if there's anything, if it's something you'd be interested in. So I'm learning a bit of interior design on Skillshare and I've been learning a lot of design principles that I've been incorporating in and around my home and I'm going to be sharing them with you today uh, in terms of how I style my console table. So this is, it's one of those things whenever I'm designing an area or styling an area, I have to do it a couple of times before I get it right. So you mix and match stuff and you play around until you get the perfect harmony and the perfect balance for what it is that you're looking for. So I'm going to be doing that. Please be patient with me. I'm going to show you three styles, my favorite ways of styling my console table. And then uh, I'd like it if you guys can please let me know which one is your favorite and why. And uh, as I'm going through, I'll try and let you guys know where I bought the items from. And then I'll also link those that I'm able to in the description box. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'm looking forward to making many more for you guys. Thank you for watching as usual. Enjoy. So for our first look, I'd just like to introduce to you the items that I'm going to be using. First of all, of course, you need a console table. So this is my console table. I have this made by a company called Table Namibia. I'll link their company in the description box. I've actually also started following a lady, a black-owned business by the name of Kimberly Interiors, and I see that she also makes console tables. So I'll also try and link her Instagram page in my description box, and you can go out and purchase these. So this was bespoke, meaning it was made to my specifications. As you can see, it's quite narrow. It's narrow because I didn't have much space in which to work with. So I wanted something that was going to be narrow, that doesn't take up too much space, but that I can still uh, start very beautifully. So on top of your console table, you always want to have something hanging. Over here, I've got a mirror. I purchased this mirror last year, August, uh, from Mr. Price Home. I think it was 750 or 799 So this is from Mr. Price Home. So you want to hang a mirror up here just to ground everything. If you're not able to put a mirror up, you can also put up some uh, artwork, maybe some family photos, but I always prefer to put a mirror up because a mirror allows me to just check myself before I go out. And our console table is actually located on your in the hallway when you go down to the garage. So it's a nice point of, uh, just a nice area for me to basically check myself before I go out. So I, I, prefer, I prefer to use a mirror on top of a console table. And like I said, this one is from Mr. Price Home. So the console table is basically just a small table that you have in your hallway, in your entryway. You can have one in your bedroom, you can have one in your corridor. Whatever it is that you want to just highlight some of your favorite accessories around the hall. And mine is gold and then it's got this full marble uh, table top here. So I'm going to be styling the first look. I'm going to be pulling on the colors of the gold here. So I'm going to be using a lot of gold accessories, some uh, browns, uh, some wooden tones. I'm just going to try and contrast them against each other. So the first thing I'm going to start doing over here is I'm going to start using large items. Then I build it up as I go and then I go to the smaller items until it f feels balanced. So here we go. So the first item I'm using is this large vase uh, with flower flowers. These are faux hydrangeas. I bought both of these from at home. What I like about this vase is that it's, um, I don't know what material this is. Uh, oh, I don't know, is it yeah, brass? I'm assuming it's brass. So this is handmade in India. What I like about this is that it's brass, it's not glass. I've got a toddler, I've got a two year old. So even if my son knocks it over, it just gets a few dents in there, it doesn't break. So I bought this from at home and then the hydrangeas four hours from um, um, at home. What I love about this is that it's nice and full, um, it's, you can use it over and over again, you don't have the expense of buying fresh hydrangeas. Hydrangeas can be quite expensive, take it from me, I'm a florist, hydrangeas are expensive, they're not the easiest flowers to take care of. So this is a really good alternative. So what I did, the stem was white, quite long, what I did is I've got these scissors um, and I just cut them to the, so that they could fit into my mouth instead of having to, you know, fold them. I don't like the way they're close. So, we are starting. We are starting with the biggest item on this table, and this is basically the vase with the four flowers. So, it's always nice to have a natural element on your console table, and I think this is perfect for this area. So, we are starting with the biggest item, then I'm going to move out. 
The second item is this little box. So this is just a Chablis uh, box that I also got from at home. I love the colors, I love the texture. So Chagrin is a nice material. I think it's made from, what is that animal? The one that killed the crocodile hunter. Mm, that stingray, apparently it's the skin of a stingray, apparently. So that's this is full stingray, I think. Uh, so this is a material that I've really been liking. I love the texture of it, I love the color, and then the touches of gold. It just basically goes with everything I'm doing here. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it right here in the center. And then I'm just going to take this little object. This is just a little rhino or gold brass little rhino that I purchased from Corey Croft. I'm just going to put it on top of here, just to make sure that it goes with the color scheme and everything else. So for the bottom, I'm using these. These are wood. These are wooden ornaments. I bought these from Cory Craft. They're just these wooden ornaments. I don't know what I would call them, but I love the texture. I'm bringing in the natural element again with the wood, and it's also a nice color. It's a nice light color, so it goes in with everything. So instead of putting them on here, so that I don't want the repetition of two on both sides, I'm going to put them on the opposite side. So we just place them here, and you see we are creating rhythm. So we're creating interest by basically multiplying what we have. Here is rhythm, and we've also got rhythm over here. Um, this is a, the third, the third, the second item I'm going to be placing at the bottom is basically a coffee table book. This is the Kinfolk Home Book. This is the Kinfolk Home Book. I bought this on Amazon. It's a really good book. A must have in terms of interior styling and it just basically shows you how other people uh, are styling their homes in a very minimalist way it's across the world and also it's this book also talks about slow living which is also a design concept that I'm really enjoying reading about and I'm just using this book and I'm placing it right in the middle and then I'm placing the clock on it. The clock is from at home by the way I get a lot of questions about this. So the last item I'm going to bring in here is just this. This is just um, a circular object. Uh, this I bought from Mr. Price Home. I think it was 90 bucks and I'm just going to place it in the middle over here. All right. So I love how this looks like. I love how it turned out. It's nice and light, it's nice and airy. And the idea here is really just to uh, celebrate this color. So I'm really putting a lot of emphasis on gold. You can see a lot of my accessories are gold. And then I'm also placing a lot of emphasis on this because it's so large, the scale is really good. And then it's also balanced out by the height of these taper candles. And then at the bottom, I kept it a bit more simpler. I repeated the two items there. So I've got the rhythm there. And then I've got the clock. And then I've just got the little point of focus in the middle with that object. So this is look one. Let me know in the comments below which one you like. Let's move on to look two. Uh, wooden tones and then 
gold. So with this look, I'm trying to be a bit more playful, not so structured, and like I said, um, this is one of those things where you just play around with things, place them until you find some harmony. So I'm gonna be playing around with that. And okay, let's get started. So this is a vase that I got from Mr. Price Home. Uh, it's 159. I love them. It's not often that you find black vases, so when I picked this up, I made sure I got a couple of them, and I just basically put some wheat grass in there. The wheat grass is from Caribou Flowers, and I love this because again, it doesn't require any maintenance. You're bringing in the natural element. You don't need to water it. Very inexpensive after you've purchased it the first time. So I'm putting this on this side. The second thing I'm going to use, I'm using these wooden ornaments again for credit, and I'm putting them over to this side. The third item is just a black and white picture of my daughter and my husband that I'm going to lean against over here. So I really like to lean uh, pictures against the wall. It's just really modern. Uh, it's a nice way to celebrate these beautiful pictures that we have around the house. And it also just adds a nice dimension to the to the to the to the vignette. <laughs> okay. So the final item I'm going to bring over here is this. I don't know whether it's this one or oh, whether I should use this one. I think I'm gonna go with the rhino. So that's the top, I'm, I'm basically here I'm using the same height, so here is, you've got a very symmetrical uh, symmetrical balance. This side looks very similar and the height is very similar to this side. So that's what I did and all the items that are on the top here are very similar in height, so we've created balance at the top. We're now going to go to the bottom and see how we can do that. This is a fruit bowl that we purchased from Carol Boyce. Carol Boyce is this iconic South African artist who passed away last year. So this bowl was this color and I spray painted it gold on the outside. And I'm just going to use this as a catch-all vase or a catch-all bowl. So the idea behind a catch-all bowl is basically where you're going to throw stuff in. Like I said, this is in the entryway so you can put like your car keys, remote controls, whatever it is that you just want to throw in and want to have easy access to when you leave in the house. This is where you're going to place it. So we're going to put this at the bottom. And I'm going to place it on this side. And the reason why I've placed it on this side is because we've got black here. So just to play around with the colors a bit and for some contrast, I wouldn't want to put it on here because it's too color, too similar in tone to this side. So on this side, I'm going to try and find then something black just to make sure that I balance out the two colors, which is not the black and the, and the gold. So this is the final look for look number two. We've got the wooden ornaments, my rhino, the picture of my hubby and daughter. We've got the wheat grass, the mirror as usual. And then at the bottom, we've got that black and white ornament. I got that from a duty free shop in South Africa, Johannesburg Airport. And I've got this leaf. And then you see I put uh, the Chanel book on top because the white book, the white cover of the King for Home was too much white against the white of this. So just to add some contrast, I put that. And then the rhythm, I put these two black vases. I can't remember where I purchased those. But this is basically how it looks like. This is look number two. On to look number three. We're now on our third and our final look. This one I'm going to do very bold, I'm going to use very bold uh, ornaments. I'm going to start by using this. This is again a glass mask. This is also from in home. Um, it was 550. I like the fact that 
that it's sturdy, it's uh, um, it's not gonna break if it falls. And then I just complemented it by putting some uh, willow sticks in here. The willow sticks are available from Caribou Flowers. So you notice that with all my designs, I always start with the bigger items first because they take up the most room. Then you sort of have an idea of how to go from this. So I'm going to place this on the left side. And in my, uh, in my course, uh, the master has the interior design. They talk about placing your biggest item or your most, the item that's going to bring the most attention to your table on the left. I don't really know what the psychology is behind it, but I've also found myself just leaning towards that. So I usually put my biggest items or my focal item on the left hand side. So I'm placing this over here, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with having some of the arrangement inside the mirror. It actually adds a nice. Uh, I think it almost looks very artistic. It actually almost looks like it's a, an art piece or something. So I don't mind the fact that the things are inside the mirror. I think that's actually a very nice touch. So we're starting with this. Uh, on the left. And then, if you follow me on Instagram again, I'm always preaching about the rule of threes. These are little black uh, bolts that I got from Pepom. They were $10 each. So these are three. And the, in the, the psychology behind using the rule of threes is basically that the mind and the eyes are attracted to stuff that are arranged in odd numbers as opposed to uh, even numbers. So you want to arrange things in uh, numbers of threes, fives, and sevens, and so on. It just adds more visual interest. And it's also a very good balance of numbers. So I've got these bowls. These are I use in the kitchen also. We use them for soups, for desserts, and I'm just going to be using them in here. So I'm taking one. I'm taking two and I'm taking three and I'm just setting them side by side over here just to create a little, like just to create a nice little vignette of them over here. Okay. My third item at the top here, I'm just using this box again. And this we usually use it, I use it around the house. I basically change my, my accessories around and we just put our remote controls in here. Sometimes I'll put some uh, hand towels in here. It's just one of those things that you use as a catch-all as well. So I'm going to put that over here. Making sure it's nice and snug on the table. Then I'm placing the taper candle, which I also got from at home. And then a black taper candle on this side. So the reason why I added some high tea is just to basically just lose against the height that I've got from my sticks over here. So it looks very black, I've got too much black on here, so we need something to just bring out the gold and the brass. Uh, and I'm going to bring in these little, I don't know, geometrical spheres that I got from uh, at home. I got these a long time ago, I think they were on sale. They were actually gray and I spray painted them gold, so you can see some of the spray paint is a bit chipped there. So. I just place it on here. So like I said, it's not going to be perfect the first time. You can really play around until you find that your vignette and your, your items are harmonious and speaking to each other. So I think I'm satisfied with the top. I'm not going to move to the bottom. And I'm going to style that area with some stuff that you've seen me style with before. and she just brings some feminine energy to this because it can also be very you want to balance out your feminine and your masculine items and items do carry feminine and masculine energy guys I mean you've got this stuff that's really rigid so that would be more masculine so I'm just going to soften that basically with this little figurine of this lady I don't know where we purchased this um, I'm not sure but I love it anyway so I'm going to purchase I'm going to place this right here at the bottom Place them over here. These are just glasses. This is the base of chalk. 
So if you notice, you notice if you look properly, you notice that I've created triangles in terms of the color screen. So you've got an upside down triangle in terms of these that come like that, and you've got a normal triangle with the black ornaments that I've placed here. So this is basically how it looks like. Alright, Rafiki, so that's it for today's video. I'm basically showing you how to style a console table, credenza, sideboard, side table, whatever it is that you want to call it. I've showed you how to style it three ways and I hope you are able to find one that really speaks to you and you identify with. And I hope you'll try some of these tricks in your own home. And basically the principles I shared with you today were basically balance, just creating balance with your overall look, making sure the left side is similar or identical to the right side. As we get more experience, then they teach you how to do balance by using completely different objects that are not similar, but you know, playing off against each other. I'm not there yet, I'm also learning, and as soon as I learn that, I'll also teach you guys how to do that. I also showed you guys about scale, making sure that your larger items balance with your smaller items by grouping your smaller items so that they just carry more area and they cover more surface area. And then I also showed you guys contrast, that's by basically mixing your different elements and textures. You've got the natural elements in these trees, you've got the, the ceramic of the bowls, and then you've got your wooden touches over here. So also just mixing different textures and different things to bring about more textures to your look. I've also taught you guys about rhythm, which is basically over here, where you repeat the same item constant to just create a flow. And I usually use it in uh, odd numbers, three, fives, and sevens. And I've also taught you guys about emphasis. Or emphasis is when you want to bring the emphasis of the eye on something. And in here, on this specific vignette, we've got an emphasis on this uh, brass vase with a stick. So I hope everything made sense to you guys. You can ask me questions in the description box in the comments below. And I'll do my best to answer them. I'm not an interior designer. I'm a home stylist, self-taught, and I'm just learning about this and I'm sharing. And I hope that you guys were able to learn a thing or two. This was really fun for me to do. I'm sorry for the absence. I'll try and do better. I've just got a lot going on, what was being pregnant and everything. But I really enjoy making these videos for you guys and I look forward to the comments. And I look forward to doing another video for you guys and you can feel free to send me video suggestions. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and head over to my Instagram page where I update more often, where I share tips and lifestyle tips and just things that I'm doing.